nearly two years now, the number of people falling into homelessness countywide is larger than the number of people finding a way out. And according to one local homeless outreach group, that trend is here to stay. Fox 5 Sarah Allegra is live for us tonight in downtown San Diego with a closer look at all that data. Sarah. Well, Kathleen, this has been going on since March of 2022, but it looks like fairly soon we'll have a better idea of where we stand countywide once the county starts to collect new data next week on January 25th. But talking to the organizations we spoke to today, it looks like the vast majority of people reflected in the most recent number are those who are on a fixed income. It's like a, a, a sword, double-edged sword. You damn you do, damn you don't. Downtown San Diego may look different. I've been here for a long time. But for Ruben, who has been homeless here for the past two decades, the problem at hand stays the same. The money they made back in the days doesn't compare with now. For the 21st month in a row, the number of people moving into homes is being overwhelmed by the number of people becoming homeless countywide. So for PATH, we did a serve of about 9,000 people last year. We were able to get 700 people housed. A grim and for some an unsurprising stat. We're all just one paycheck away um, from a catastrophe for financial hardship. Jana Lee helps run a homeless outreach team with PASS San Diego and has been working closely with the county to collect data for its annual point in time count. It needs to drive the, the number of resources that we have and we should have a true understanding of what it is because people are asking for services. Data from the San Diego Regional Task Force on homelessness shows as of December over 1,000 San Diegans were without a home for the first time while over 700 found a place to live. And a lot of them are people who are on fixed incomes, elderly, disabled, who can't keep up with the market prices that are going on. Our reporting partners with the Union Tribune also found that with the passing of the city of San Diego's controversial camping ban, camps are now popping up here right along the San Diego River. Anytime you go down a river bottom, anytime you go into any place where there's lots of encampments, that's very dangerous. Meaning the problem downtown could stretch into new territory. All you do is chip it one way or the other. And according to the downtown San Diego partnership, it looks like those numbers have decreased drastically right here in the downtown area. But again, hoping for a better idea once the county begins to collect that data next week. And again, just urging people for help, asking for volunteers so that we can get the most accurate assessment. For now, that's the very latest here from downtown. Sarah Allegre, Fox 5 News.